Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today. Why was this not at the Ubisoft press conference? What is it like? I don't even understand why it wasn't. Huh? Whatever. Anyway, so this is Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition. Of course, this is the brand new remaster which uh, got leaked a few months ago and we've been waiting for it ever since um and it's coming out soon i know that so uh this is the trailer uh, i think this also kind of got leaked i guess i don't think because I, I tried to look for it it was it was gone again uh and so i'm using it i'm watching it on from a from a website that still has it like up somewhere uh so let's uh let's watch this i i'm i'm very excited for this game I mean, it's one of my favorite games of all time, Beyond Green Evil 1. So, and it's been a long time since I've played it, actually. So, it'd be nice. it was probably the last time I played it was probably when the Xbox Live Arcade version came out. So, let's get to it, baby. Finally, we're getting something Beyond Green Evil, guys. So, let's go. Let's check out this. Because we haven't seen it in motion yet. We've only seen pictures of this remaster. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, play. My girl. Yeah, shout out to the actress that played Jade, Jody Forrest passed away a few months ago, I mean a few years ago. Jade, 20 years ago. This goddamn game came out. Oh uh, yes, the opening scene. We came to Hillis. Back then it was a peaceful It's looking pretty solid. It's looking good. I had hoped to raise you there safely. Oh, that's a fucker. Peaceful mining planet in System 4 is now. Open scene right here. Uh, if you want to go, stick it to you okay, like bees on honey. But I'm sticking to you, you like bees on honey. <laughs> there you go. I get her or not. Uh, it's a classic. The character models look really good. All platforms. I'm gonna buy it on every single platform. Yeah, all right, it's a new new stuff. Cool. The water looks pretty good. There we go. Oh, that's so cool! A girly concept art. Yes. Show some of the concept art for Aeros Rima. Uh, show some of the early artwork for Beyond Good Evil 2. <laughs> yes, Double H. I love Double H. Double H is a great character. Uh, I love this I'll game. Back for you. Oh man. Paige, you've been hiding this from me for the past 20 years. June 25th. Yep, I already knew that. Oh man, why couldn't it just be today? Oh, okay, it is included with Ubisoft Plus. That's cool. It looks really good. It looks really good. Dude, if they showed that during the... Like, if it didn't get leaked and they showed that at the Ubisoft press conference, I would have lost my shit. God. It looks really good, though. It's it's looking pretty solid. Hold on. Yeah, like, Paige's character model, especially. Like, they definitely did a pretty good job with uh, the character models. I always thought, like, Jade still looked great, but there was a, something about Paige that looked a little weird. That looked very PS2. Honey, you no, not. <laughs> The award-winning adventure. Goddamn right. Dude, even that like that one shot right there looked really good. It does have a, a very... I don't know what they're using. I'm assuming Unreal Engine because it has a very Unreal Engine look to it. That's how I like. Especially this shot right here. This looks... That looks so weird. I'm playing the shit out of this one. Huh? Love this concept. I've seen some of this concept work before. Not that one. I feel like I've seen that one. I think some of this was available. I could be wrong, but I think some of this was available on or in the original game. Or maybe the Xbox Live Arcade one. There you go. Of course, you gotta put Rayman in there. Michelle and so. Reorchestrated soundtrack, too. Why was this not the Ubisoft press conference? I'm so I'm like blown away that it wasn't. No matter what happens, good luck, Jade. 
By the way, all the info that they share in this trailer was already, already new because it got leaked. So, <laughs> every dude is a rework of Zerd I knew there was going to be extra things and it was going to be a, a art gallery and stuff like that. So, still cool, but again, that's why I hate fucking leaks. I hate them. I really do. Um, they suck. And I no one can ever convince me that they're good. Like, I don't see how any leak is good. Because it's either you know about something early, so when the trailer comes out, you're not surprised. Or some leaks, and it never comes out. And you're like, what? I was excited. So, what? The, like, there's no benefit. I don't understand. What's the benefit? You know something about something before you've even seen it, and you ruin the surprise for yourself? I don't understand. You can make videos about it, probably, or, or articles. That's the only benefit I could see. That's not... There's no benefit... From the game itself being known before it was supposed to be sh like announced, you know, whatever. I'll come back for you. Yeah, rest in peace to the voice actress. When I heard she passed away, I got really sad. Hey. She 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 passed away. I think I think she she passed away around the same time the uh, second one got announced. You've been hiding this from me for the past twenty years. Uh. You've been hiding this from me for us. I don't know why they didn't just release it today. I, I guess give it a few days of uh, hype. I guess build it up. Anyway, it looks really good. It looks really good. Anyway, so I got to the Beyond and Evil uh, 20th Anniversary Edition. Um, of course, this was probably supposed to be shown during the Limit Run Games uh, uh, press conference thing. But they'll show whatever Collector's Edition. Because they obviously, if they're showing it there... This give you a physical edition, which I'm buying this digitally when it comes out, for sure, but I'll definitely buy it physically later. Um, I'm going to hope if they have a collector's edition, they don't... I, I want, I want like, a nice collector's edition. Give me... I'll, I'll pay two fifty if you give me a, a nice Jaden Page statue. It's going to be something stupid, I know. Maybe it'll be her staff or something. That'd be kind of cool. Her camera, maybe. Okay, that'd be kind of sick. But, like, I would give both, both of my left nuts for a... For a statue of Jaden Page. <clears throat> don't ask. Anyway, so I got... <laughs> don't ask about my two love nuts. Alright? Because, like, there's some weird things about that. I don't care, bro. I just love to own another copy of Beyond Good Evil. <sighs> they better not fuck this port up, though. I mean, this is a good trailer. That reorchestrated soundtrack. The, the 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 music in Beyond Good and Evil is fucking awesome. Pretty much anything about Beyond Good and Evil is fucking awesome. Like it, it is a shame that we never got a sequel. And I'm sorry, I don't think there really is a sequel to Beyond Good and Evil anywhere. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not gonna buy it anymore. Like oh, it's still in development. I it, maybe it is. I just I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, someone was talking to me through my door. Anyway, um. Forgot what I was saying. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I don't think uh, I don't think the second one exists. Honestly, maybe it does. I don't think it does though. At this point, I think it's a matter of time before they announce it's either canceled or they they restart development or some shit. Because um, I don't understand why it had to be this giant thing. I was like, all right, cool. Hey, hey, as long as we can be on game two. I just want another 10 hour game, 10 to 15 hour game. That's a nice little adventure game. That's all it needed to be. I That's all it needed to be. Another, the, the continuation of Jaden Page's story. That's all I wanted. It's all, that's all I wanted. I wanted those characters back because that's what held up that game. You know, not that nothing else did. Everything else did too. <sighs> anyway, I guess we'll, we'll find out maybe one day. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it'll be a Metro Prime situation where we finally get to see it. Uh, Metro Prime 4 was announced the same year as uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2. So. See, that shot looks good. Like, look at it. The orb effect here looks really cool. I like that. But then that shot of Paige, like, the character model looks good, but, like, there's something about it that looks weird, out of place, you know what I mean? It feels strange. I think it's just, like, maybe it's the lighting itself. I don't know. Anyway, it looks really good, though. For the most part, and I'm sure while I'm playing the game, as long as there's no glitches, I won't even notice it. Um, yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the next time. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.